What's up? It's your boy Dynas at the end of this video. Make sure you go to www.dynasmere.com. Check out our digital African art, jewelry, fashion, and accessories. Also go to searchforhuwa.com. Uh, learn more information on the documentaries we're shooting. Also contribute towards those documentaries. Last but not least, go to Amazon.com. Search your name, Dynas Amir. Buy a book. I've written several of them, so please support and buy one. Wanted to shoot this video today on, you know, and I wanted to really go in on this petty, dusty beef that is fabricated and made up between, you know, black Americans and Africans. And what's the real root cause of it? You know, I'm watching, I'm on YouTube and people are shooting documentaries and dissertations and having round table, little dusty round table uh, discussions on, you know, this made up and fake beef between black Americans and, um, and Africans. But at the same time, same black Americans, you would take your ass to the Dominican parade. Dominican Day Parade, the uh, Puerto Rican Day Parade. You know, you 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 uh you bring your your Dominican flag or Puerto Rican flag. You wave it in the air, even though you ain't freaking Puerto Rican or Dominican. You got the flag. You wearing the colors. You know, you you brush off your dusty Espanol. You know, you get Rosetta Stone or go on YouTube and learn Como Esta. You show up to the parade. You talk about some, hey, mommy, what's up, mommy? You know, and, and these Dominicans and Puerto Ricans will look you dead in the face. I'm talking about these Dominicans and Puerto Ricans sometimes are jet black, make uh, Danny Glover look light-skinned, and they will flat out tell you, look, I am not black, we are not black, we are Puerto Rican, we are Dominican, we do not mess with you black Americans. But y'all don't beef with them. You'll still show up to the parade. You singing a damn um, song. How's, how's the song go? Oh, Borica, Americana. Uh, you singing a fucking song. And they tell you that they do not fuck with you. But you're not um, being petty and um, fabricating beefs and crying and whining like you do with Africans. Because the same, I mean, this is the thing, the same petty reasons that you swear Africans don't fuck with you are the same reasons why no one fucks with us. But for some reason, you want to hold a grudge with Africans. I'm going to tell you what's really, what really happened. This is what happened. And, and, and I mean, it, 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 forget the um, parade. Let's, take, let's go deeper. I was looking at, uh, I think dude's name is Alpo. I think that's his name. He was in Pain and Fool. Or uh, Cameron played his character in Pain and Fool. I was watching a documentary on him. His, they, you know, they were going to his life story and how he grew up and where he's from. His sister said that people thought Alpo was um, black, but he was a dark-skinned... He's not black, he's a dark-skinned Puerto Rican. What the fuck is a dark-skinned Puerto Rican? Somebody explain this shit to me in the comment section. I'm not, he's not black. He's a dark-skinned Puerto Rican. I'm going to get into that later. But these same dark-skinned Puerto Ricans, the white Puerto Ricans like Fat Joe, they'll brag about how they take over the block, how they're smoking Negroes left and right, how they control the dope game, how they're smoking Negroes left and right. But you want to be for some Africans just because an African might have called you a kata or called you man with no land, which is fucking true. Hence, um, the Notorious Big situation, which I'll get into another uh, on an, another video. Tell you have no culture. You got beef with them doing fucking uh, dissertations and roundtable discussions. Meanwhile, you'll idolize these dark-skinned Puerto Ricans who literally tell you, Negro, we're taking over the block, we're killing you, you know, we're going to snitch on you, drop dime, whatever. Bragging about it. Him, Fat Joe. Fat Joe's made a music career talking about how many Negroes he smoked. Y'all still mess with them. Y'all will glorify the hell out of them. Y'all will do movies and documentaries on them. But you mad at some freaking Africans. That's how petty this shit is. And I'm going to tell you why 
what's the real reason behind this, this pettiness. Now, you go to the Dominican parade, you know, what's up, mommy? And, and the Dominican girls respond. You know, you hook up with them, you get up with them. Same thing with Puerto Rican Day Parade. What's up, mommy? Or however, however the fuck you say it. And they, I don't say that corny ass shit. And they respond. And you, and, you, and you get up with them and you hook up with them. But you go to the Habisha Club, Eritrean night, Ethiopian night, in D.C. You try that shit with Ethiopian and Eritrean girls. And they reject your ass. And now all of a sudden, there's a beef between um, black Americans and Africans because the Ethiopian girls wouldn't give you no pussy. See, this beef is all over some pussy. I'm telling you right now. That's what this shit's about. Some pussy. The Ethiopian girls and the Eritrean girls wouldn't give you no pussy. So now you got beef. Are the Ghanaian girls, you know, the Kenyan girls, the Kenya, East African Kenya girls who would rather mess with white dudes than you. So now all of a sudden, there's a beef between black Americans and Africans because your emotional ass got rejected at the Habisha, at Habisha night. That's where all this shit stems from. Quit overcomplicating it. Quit making it difficult. Let's stop with the uh, uh, round table discussions. Because the same dusty excuses, excuses that black Americans use are, are, and reasons, dusty reasons, that black Americans use are why Africans don't fuck with them. It's the same dusty reasons that everybody uses are why they don't fuck with black Americans, but y'all still support their shit. You still glorify everything they do. You still worship them, i.e. Alpo. i.e. Fat Joe, you know, you still listen to their music, you still want to go to their damn parade and St. Patrick's Day and Cinco de Mayo, they disrespect you, they make songs on how they smoke you, how they took over the block, how they killing you, how they run the drug game, but you cool with them, but you mad at some Africans. You know, when's the last time? Show me the song that P Square and Wizkid did where they talked about smoking some black Americans and taking over the drug game and dropping dime on them and getting them life in prison and paying them to, to take out other black Americans, you know, put out hits on them and kill them. Tell, show me the fucking video, man. Show me the music video. So the only reason why y'all tolerate this shit it's because you know if you go to the Dominican Day Parade, if you got contact or within any type of Dominican females, they're going to put out. Same thing with Puerto Rican girls. They're going to put out. The same ones that will tell you jet black, nappy hair, make uh, Donald Glover, Danny Glover look light-skinned. They will look you in the eye and say, I'm not black, I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican, I do not mess with, your bl with you black Americans. They will tell you that, but they put out still. They'll still give it up. You know, you got rappers and Puerto dark skin, sorry, dark skin Puerto Ricans talking about how they, they, they're murdering you guys, literally, killing y'all, murdering you culture vultures, and then tell you how much they're murdering and killing you guys, how they're taking over the block. But y'all ain't got no problem, with, but y'all problem is with some Africans. Man, y'all gotta stop, man. This shit is just getting petty as hell. We need to stop these uh, petty, dusty videos on, you know, why black Americans don't like Africans and vice versa. Because, again, you go to the little Puerto Rico in New York, or Spanish, whatever it's called, Spanish Harmon, the Spanish Harlem, you go to a uh, little Dominican Republic or whatever it's called in, in, in New York. Dominican girls and Puerto Rican girls are putting out. So you would tolerate, you know, all the other bullshit that comes along with it. It's okay. It's all good as long as you get pussy. But I guarantee you, the minute the Puerto Rican and Dominican girls stop giving you guys pussy, you guys, you know, the, the, the Cardi B and uh, the Puerto Rican princess stop giving you guys pussy, you guys will start beefing with them all over some pussy. Oh man, Puerto Ricans and Dominicans don't fuck with us. Why? Because they're not giving us any pussy. Well, what about how, you know, 
they're literally telling you how much they murdered you guys and take over the dope game. And um, how they ain't black. They're Puerto Rican and, and, and Dominican. Straight in your face. The minute they stop giving up the P, I guarantee you your attitude will change about change towards them. I guarantee you. It'll be just like the petty ass shit, the petty beef you got towards Africans, because at the end of the day, you go to the African club, them African girls are shutting you down, and so now it's all Africans don't fuck with us because you're not getting no African pussy. So that's what it is. This is all this beef originated from African ass. That's what it was. Black Americans were getting shut down by the Ethiopians and Eritreans, and they took that ass. Africans don't mess with us, and this shit just grew from there. Follow me on social media. Uh, search for Uhuru on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Dynasty Mirror the next time I'm out.